So Nisha, what's your opinion on cute baby animals? Aww. That's the correct answer. The Barnacle Goose is arguably the D student of the animal world in that it tries super hard to be part of the food chain, but kind of sucks at it. I say this because before the Barnacle Goose is even allowed to have its first meal, it must first throw itself from a cliff. Okay, wait a minute, so they have to actually throw themselves off a cliff as babies? Yes, they do, yes. Why? Because geese are assholes. Seriously though, why? Because geese are assholes. <laughs> like, we'll get into that in a moment, but... Like, is there an animal on Earth that is more universally regarded as a prick than the goose? Probably not. I think that's like top tier prick. <laughs> it is, it is. Like, we've got a friend, like me and you, who like sent a message to a group chat we're in saying, I can't get to work today. And it's like, why? There's a goose. <laughs> there was a goose just in the like, you know, the parking place for his work. And there was a sign on the door saying there's a goose, please don't leave. And he couldn't get to work. And when they found out later, like, was, was there a nest? It's like, no, it just landed and was being a prick. The goose is so universally known as pricks that there's even a game about being a prick goose. Full <laughs> title oh, goose yeah, game. Have you played that game? I've seen it played and I'm thinking I need to play this because it like, looks like, so funny. If you want to just while away an afternoon, just go play Untitled Goose Game because everything about that game is just flawless in its execution. Like right down to the noise the goose makes when it walks, it just makes the little flappy flap of its little feet. And I think my favourite thing about that game is just the title, which is Untitled Goose Game. Because it was originally going to have another name, but in like pre-production they just called it Untitled Goose Game. And fans liked that name so much, they like, no, just call it that. <laughs> And if you go to try and like buy or download that game, like one of the key selling points is that it has a dedicated honk button. <laughs> and that's honk. It. Yeah, you just honk. It has no purpose, but you honk. There's a great clip out there of someone who got like a turbo controller. So a controller like, like um, just presses whatever button you press like thousands of times per second oh, and attached it to the honk button. So the goose is just honking at the speed of sound. And before we move away from that game, I have to talk about perhaps my favourite meme to come out of it. Which is when Joe lockdown starts. Yeah, fun fact, we're in lockdown. Luke, we're talking via a hands-free kit right now. Um, okay. And Joe, everyone's like panic buying bog roll. Like a screen, someone took a screenshot from the game of like, even the goose only takes one. And it's the goose taking a single toilet roll. It's like, even the biggest prick in the animal kingdom only takes one toilet roll. Don't be worse than the goose. And then people ignored that and bought like a thousand toilet rolls. But I, I, I didn't know this. Like, are people just using more toilet roll than me? Am I not using enough? There was that story, I think a guy who bought like loads and loads of toilet rolls that tried to take <laughs> them back to the shop. $10,000 worth. I yeah. think it was a story in Australia. And the shop went, nah. And he got really mad about it. He's like, it's toilet roll. Would you buy secondhand toilet roll? I was like, no. It's like, exactly. That's why it always baffled me when I used to work in a shop and they'd bring back like... Um, Worn underwear. shoes or soiled like, un underwear. Underwear, and I'm like, I can't, I can't accept this. I'm like, why? Like, well, would you want to buy like underwear that people have brought back? No. Or would you even want to handle it? No, you wouldn't. Well, that's no. the one. It's like, would you even want to handle like secondhand underwear? <laughs> Just that guy. Can I return ten thousand pounds worth of bog roll? No. <laughs> he got so mad, and everyone collectively went, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> Anyway, geese. So what is the reason barnacle geese start their life on top of a cliff and then jump off? Oh, um, they start their lives on top of a cliff because, I think, you know, it's the safest place for them to be because the crags of cliffs are relatively safe from almost every predator that would like, you know, that preys on the geese. Um, I think it's like mostly like foxes and other scavengers and perhaps maybe even a species of flying snake we're not aware of. So that part makes sense. What makes less sense though is that for some inexplicable reason the parents of these adorable fluffy baby geese, and trust me these things are fucking adorable, refuse to feed them when they're in their nest and will in fact only do so when they leap off of a cliff. And you're probably thinking Nisha and audience at home, well can these little baby geese fly? The answer to which is no. The only thing stopping them from dying is the fact they are so fluffy and so adorable that, like, you know, it slows down their descent to a less than lethal velocity, allowing them to land on the rocks without dying most of the time. So most of the time they survive. They do, yes, and unfortunately, like, not all baby geese make it, and as if this wasn't bad enough on its own. Like I said, like, scientists don't really know why adult barnacle geese do this, because they're fully capable of feeding their babies 
when they're in the rocks on the nest safe, but they will actively refuse to like, you know, acknowledge their young's existence once it's born until they make that like, you know, leap of faith, like that Altair, just front flip off a high location. But what baffles scientists most though is that some geese have been observed allowing their young to climb onto their back, at which point they will then glide down to the rocks below safely and then feed them. Meaning that at any point, like, you know, the adult barnacle geese could like, you know, safely and securely escort their young to the ground and feed them there. Uh, but most choose not to because geese are assholes. So that is the reason then, that is the scientific reason is because they're assholes. I, I can't think of any other explanation. Like I said, like scientists who study these animals are baffled as, as to why they do this. One, because like, you know, the cliffs are safe. And two, because like some geese will guide their young down and others don't. And they will actively like just sit at the bottom and just honk at their young, encouraging them to make the leap. And sometimes we'll watch their young hit the rocks and then tumble down them while honking without helping and won't help until they come to a complete stop. Again, because geese are assholes. Surely when they reach the bottom, they, they must be safe then. The thing is though, they're not because many predators have learned that, oh, during like, you know, barnacle geese hatching season, if you just wait at the bottom of these cliffs, food will literally rain down from the sky. That's an image that's way too depressing to end this article on. So instead, here is some footage of a baby goose. So Nisha, you are a cute and fluffy animal aficionado, correct? Definitely, yes. Right, yeah, right, you love like, all animals, cute and adorable. So like, for the people at home, like, you know, to like, you know, wash the taste of like, you know, just baby goose death out of their mouths, um, just want to name a few like, you know, creatures that you think are especially adorable when they're young. Um, and as you mentioned, then pictures of them will be behind me. It's like a collage of cuteness. Like, you know, I think it's eye, eye bleach is the name for it they use on the internet sometimes. So go for that. And we'll, we'll go backwards and forwards with some baby animals that we think are quite cute. All right, I'll start with baby hedgehog. Oh man, I've never seen a baby hedgehog. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a baby hedgehog. That's so cute. Oh my God. Are they just like really small and like, do they still have the spines? Yeah, they have like, they've still got the little spikes, but they've, they've got like really big paws. Oh, <laughs> like... I love it. It's like when uh, dogs are really small, but they've got massive paws and they yeah. can't walk. And they're like, duff, 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 duff. All right, well, I'm going to go for, this is a creature I don't think many people are aware of, and it's a baby hyrax. And I don't know what the fuck a hyrax is. I just know that they're fucking adorable. So there's a picture of a baby hyrax behind us. Because they, they look like the most nondescript, fluffy thing I've ever seen. If you were going to design a mammal, but only had like the default parts, you would design a hyrax. It is like the, the cir like completely circular scale electric set of the animal kingdom. It's so boring, but also adorable. Okay, I'm gonna go with a baby seal. Oh man, seals, they're just, they're just dogs. Yeah, oh, they're are so you, cute. Like, seal, seals are just dogs. <laughs> I, I don't care what anyone says, they are just water dogs that they've not learned. Like, I don't get it, like, they look so much like dogs, it's unbelievable, and they even bark like dogs. Except for that one, have you seen the clip of like, the seal that's just like, ah, and just screaming. <laughs> well, last year I went to the Kyoto Aquarium, which is like famous for being the only aquarium in the world that has like a whale shark in it. Right, which is really yeah. strange, but they also had like a section dedicated to seals. And my favorite thing is just watching the seals like, do they like really lazily swim? And then accidentally <laughs> just bump into the glass and their entire face would <laughs> Because he just all switches like, oh, oh, he's adorable, he's a big dog. Okay, so you've got a baby seal, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go for an, like, a weird one, like baby hippos. Aww. Because you know it's, like, it's, the, it's the forbidden cuteness. Because you can't touch a baby hippo because Mama Hippo will bite your face off. Like, Mama Hippo is the most dangerous animal in Africa. Like, hippos are machine gun proof, but baby hippos are... So we are in the Hippo House at ZSO Whipsplain C, where you can find our newest addition to the proud parents. We can, don't, don't pet it, ever. Never pet the baby hippo. You don't, you don't need that hassle. You are, not, you are not hardcore enough to survive petting the baby hippo. Okay, so another adorable baby animal for the lovely folks at home. I'm gonna go with pandas. Oh man, I, you never see baby pandas, do you? Because like pandas don't fuck. <laughs> Which is really strange, like baby pandas just look like just teddy bears. Oh. 
Like, obviously, folks at home vote on what you think is the cutest. So I'm going to throw out a Hail Mary to try and win the competition and go for another animal that is adorable but also dangerous, and that is a baby honey badger. Oh. Because baby honey badgers are so tiny, but they've still got the viciousness about them. And like, they have like a really weird... Get- they look like um, plastic toys, so the way they stand. They've got really stiff little legs yeah. and the big tail. And, duff, 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 duff. <laughs> and they're really cute in that regard. So that's what I'm going to throw in like, my last example to try and win this one. What are you going for? I feel like I have to go for my all-time favourite animal, which is a cat, so I'm going to have to say kitten. Cute okay. little kitten. And, and I'm presuming you're going to try and edit this one to find the cutest possible kitten picture yes. you can. Okay. Yes. And all the folks at home, like, which one's cutest? I was like, you know what, fuck it, chuck an adult goose on there as well. Just the anger <laughs> goose in the background. The anger goose. 